Hey there, this is Akshat Madan and welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we will be creating a custom tool for our crew. So you need to understand, uh, you have already understood the significance of tools. If you have not, please watch this series in the same flow because in the video where I created a simple reasoning action agent, there I told you the meaning of a tool in the agentic space. Okay. So uh, we already had this uh, tool, a uh, custom tool, which crew automatically creates when the boilerplate code gets generated. But if you see uh, in the crew.py for our marketing crew, which we used in the previous videos, we already used a tool, Serper dev tool, um, which is an inbuilt, inbuilt tool in crew AI. So if you go inside it, you will see what is happening. So it basically makes the API call to Google and gets the web search results for you, right? But it's not necessary that you always have to stick to the inbuilt tools which you get in Crew. So let me go to uh, Crew documentation in the tools and you are, you are going to see which all tools are provided to you inbuilt in the Crew, right? So Appify Actors tool, browser based tool, uh, then if anything that you want to know, like the common ones are like file reader tool, the tool which can read files. Fire crawl tool will actually be able to do web crawling, like right? it will be able to go inside a website, get all the links, then go inside all the links one by one, scrapes the data and then can, then you can run inference on the received data. Serper dev tool, specified tool for development purposes with specific functionality. So this means just it, it is used for web search. And then we have Llama index, vision tool, rag tool, XML search tool. So all of these tools, video, YouTube video search tool, which can actually go and search about a particular YouTube video, right? Uh, based on the search term. So all of these tools are provided, but most of the times these tools will not be enough, right? Let's say you have a custom server, um, that server you need to use uh, in your CRI agent. AI agent should be able to make API calls to that server. So those things can be done using tools. And for that, you will definitely need custom tools. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is, you need to understand this thing, numbers API. Okay, so we're going to use this as our server. And what this does is if you pass, if you make this API call, a simple get call numbers api.com slash 2013 slash year. And if you hit enter, you get a fact about that number in context with an year. So 2013 is the year that NASA venue Venus in C2 Explorer mission to Venus, like some kind of fact, right? Now, if you pass second December, slash date, right? Because this is not an year, this is a date, right? Then you'll get the fact about February 12th is the day 1999 that President Bill Clinton is acquitted by the US Senate in his impeachment trial. Okay. If you pass to, uh, let's say 45 slash uh, math, right? Then you're going to get some math fact about this. 45 is the sixth positive integer with a prime factorization of the form. Pdq. So some kind of fact, right? And you can read more about it over here. Like if you pass trivia, trivia, then you get like 53 is the total number of national football associations of UEFA. Okay, some kind of fact, great. So we are going to use this and our agent, uh, like if based on the prompt that user will enter, let's say, hey, I want to know a fact about this date, uh, 2nd December, right? So here agent has to automatically detect what should be the type. It should be trivia, it should be math, date or year based on the user prompt. Okay, then the tool call will have this API call, which uh, the type will be dynamic, the number will be dynamic. And agent has to automatically pass the number and the type thinking on its own, like LLM will decide what should be the type based on the user prompt. So this is a very simple custom tool that I'm going to build in this video, but you can have complex tools also like you can have your own API calls in those tools, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and create a new crew. So let's create a new crew. Uh, I'll paste this crew, I crew. I'll call it as numbers crew. Okay. I, I call it as numbers API. That is fine. Okay. Let's use Gemini. So I'll say three and hit enter. Um, let's use Gemini one, just let's use Gemini 1.5 flash. That will be enough for this case. Uh, I'll enter Gemini API key later and that is it. So in numbers API, I've got my source. I've got this tools. I've got this custom tool, right? So let me create this, uh, another tool. Let's call it as numbers API tool dot pi. And let me just copy everything from here paste it over here 
and let's the input. So basically the tool will take some inputs, right? So every tool, uh, so this base tool, right? So this is a uh, class and our custom tool is going to inherit this uh, or extend this class, right? So we have the name and description. So you need to understand this, that this name, description and the description of every argument goes to the LLM. Rest of the logic of the tool like API calls or whatever it is doing inside will not go to the LLM. So you have to be as descriptive as you can for the name and descriptions for arguments and the tool. Okay. So for this tool, um, this is a numbers API tool. It takes a number and returns a fact about it based on, based on the type of the number, trivia, math, date or year. Okay, great. And let's write its description. I think I, uh, this is the numbers AP tool. I think I should just put this part in the description. Okay. So I'll just remove it and I'll paste it. So it takes a number and returns a fact about it based on the type of the number. Okay. And argument schema, it will just take a um, number, right? And this will be like an integer and the description is going to be the number to get the fact about and then the type right default will be trivia the type of the fact to retrieve options are trivia mad date or year so as soon as the llm gets the information on this type and name and description llm will be able to decide what should be the type that should be passed based on the user prompt let's say i say hey i want to know a fun fact about uh, this number then it might take trivia or math Right. If I say, Hey, this is a, this is a date like uh, 13th of Feb. Can you tell more about it? So that will be taken as a date. So LLM has to decide it. Okay. I hope you understood it. Now let me write the simple API call inside this run function and you need to fix, uh, let's, let's fix the name first. My custom tool. Let's uh, replace it with numbers API tool. Okay. Let's replace it and it is going to take number, which is going to be integer and is going to take type, which is going to be string. Okay, great. Awesome. And now let's write the logic over here. Uh, so I'm going to import request because it needs to make uh, API calls and URL number and type number cpa.com. This is correct. Try catch block response will be request dot get URL. Uh, and yes, this will be correct. Except, except yes. So you see, like I'm using uh, GitHub Copilot and it is super helpful. Okay, great. And it is going to return me the uh, response that it will get about that number, the fact about that number. So this is how I wrote a custom tool and over here in the run function, you can have your own custom logic. Simply I had a API call. So I wrote the API call. If you have something else like uh, subtraction, multiplication, or like logic or API call or some third party integration, do it in the run function. Okay, great. Now I can go back to config and in the agents, I can have the role. Okay. So role will be, this will not be a researcher. This will be a fact generator, fact generator. You are a fact generator specializing, no, specializing in maths, maths facts. Goal will be to generate interesting educational, interesting fact um, about a given number, right? And let's cite the bit. So you are a creative thinker who loves numbers and enjoys sharing interesting facts about them. You have to now go finding unique and okay, okay, okay. Mass, uh, yeah. Okay. And I don't need this. And I also can say you're a fact generated, especially in math facts to generate interesting using the numbers API so that it knows that it doesn't have to use its own brain to generate the fact. Okay. Um, and this should be good prompt will come from, uh, the user and it should automatically get, detect the number and the type. Okay. I think this should be good and I can have the task. So this will be, um, fact generator task and description will be, you can remove this generate a fact about the number using the numbers API. I'll remove this because the number is not going to come from the user. Uh, number 
received received in the user prompt using the numbers api the fact should interesting i guess okay expected list with okay no the expected output is going to be um fact about the number markdown is not required in simple string format okay and agent is going to be fact generator and i don't need this great so this is all good now what i can do i can go back to crew uh, numbers api agent task this is all good it will be fact generator and i'm going to copy this paste it over here and i'm going to also import from um tools dot numbers api tool import numbers api tool okay and over here let's remove this tools will be numbers api tool i'm passing the instance of my numbers api tool verbose is true i don't need this agent and uh, let's remove this task also task will be fact generator task right and this will be let's go over here fact generator task i can come back to crew i'll paste it over here output file is not required agent is fact generator and tool is true tool and verbose is true okay um agent task process sequential verbose is true rest everything is looking good and one more thing i can just do this and i can pass i think this this should be good let's try to run it once i'll put my gemini api key in my environments over here in the main.py inputs prompt what is the significance of number 42 and let's just keep it like this and then let me go inside um, numbers api folder numbers api and then i can say crew ai run and it is downloading whatever it needs so it did run and um, agent started agent was you are a fact generated special in math facts task is generate a fact about the number received in the user prompt so it did not get the number right because i did not use that prompt anywhere i passed the prompt but i did not get the prompt anywhere i did not use the prompt anywhere so that's why i took a random number 7 right and don't took i did not take 42 which uh, is the number i passed in the prompt so it, it is it is completing the task like it did a, it did make a tool call you can see number was passed this and math was type as the math was passed as the date as a type and but my number is not correct so what i'll do is i'll go to my agent uh in the config and you are a fact generated especially in the maths facts user uh let, let's not let's let's put uh the prompt over here we are using numbers api uh interesting fact about a given number is the user prompt is something like this let's let's say the user prompt is and i can say the prompt so that it gets the prompt in the task also i can use this prompt suitable for sharing the prompt from the user is prompt okay let's try to run it again so i'll just clear it and i'll run it so perfect now it is running perfectly uh, it got the prompt and it took the number 42 it also passed 42 uh, as the parameter and type as trivia and it returned me the final response also like 42 is the number of spots on a pair of standard six sided dice okay great and task completed and yes now what i can do is i can try with another prompt uh, i can say uh, what is the significance of um uh, date let's say um second december but over here because what will happen some one wrong thing will happen because in the custom numbers api tool um number this will fail this will fail right so let me keep this uh, small part as a homework you have to fix it because in the numbers api you will see 
if the type is date right then you have to pass 2 slash 29 2 slash 29 right you cannot just pass one integer so this will work fine this tool will work fine for math trivia and year but it will fail for date so for now to just run it i'll say what is the significance of the year 2014 but if i pass it as uh, like this like what is the significance of the year 2014 then it will pass uh, type as the year type as the year right year and the number will be 2014 and it will work fine but you have to fix it for the date so if you don't want to hear the hint which i'm going to say right now you can skip this part but the hint is you have to take two parameters in that function one of them will be optional okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you will create custom tool you will fix this you will do this homework also if you do this you can reach out to me or, or you can post it over linkedin tag me and i'll be happy to give you a shout out till the next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot